Oh, furries. A weird yet fascinating community that never gets boring. A community that, I'ma be honest, I low key fuck with. What's all that movement back there? After all, they gave us Kanye West and Uzi. Now, I say this not because I fear the pipe bombs and recent litters dropping to my crib, but because today we're going over a bit of drama going on about a popular YouTuber, furries, a Diddy party, and a potential crime committed. Of course, we're going to talk about the recent Anthony Poe situation. Anthony Poe is a popular YouTuber of over 1.7 million subscribers who mainly does prank type videos, garnering in the 500k to million views range. Where his channel differentiates from the other prank like channel is his commitment. When he says that he commits to the bit, he's not lying. He goes where nobody dares, such as in a cult, in a pitbull concert, and in that case, in a Diddy party at a free con. Unfortunately for him, this time he wouldn't leave without any consequences, not as but career wise. So, how about we go over this whole situation and maybe speak my mind on it at the end? So, this whole situation happened this year at Andrew and Wingun, which, fun fact, is the same con and at the same time that Turkey Tom made his video. So, who knows, maybe he was uh, also attending the daily party on some freaky shit? But, anyways, prior to the con, he brought a suit named Sigma and wanted to infiltrate the community to find the truth about the Saint Diddy party. But in order to infiltrate the community, he had to quote unquote come into the bit and wear a suit for 200 days, like almost 7 months. Listen, it's a bit much for a bit, but I don't judge your hobbies, you know. Around the same time he made a TikTok account. Don't forget it's a bit. All this in an attempt to go freaky mode at the con with some randoms. Twice. Come on guys, it's it's a bit. In the con he did some interviews. Talked to people, made friends, and even go to a dance competition. But he had only one thing in mind. It was to hit it rock. Do the milli rock. Empty his clip. Pull out his switches. But, but, but it's all a bit, on phone him. He, he ain't no furry. Oh, well. Merch it on his dead homies. After pushing his luck a little, he got invited to a Diddy party and even joined too. Cause he real freaky like that. Mm. So, that's it? And why did he receive so much backlash to the point where he had to do some fucking PRS apology? Well see, that's cause he filmed and recorded some audio at the Diddy party, but may or may not have done it without asking for permission, which may or may not be legal in Massachusetts, since it's a two-party state. Now I'm no lawyer, but from what I understand, the Massachusetts General Law, Chapter 272, Section 105, which is the photographing, videotaping, or electronically surveying partially nude or a nude person, states that if the defendant photographed, videotaped, or conducted electronic surveillance of another person, the defendant did it so willfully, the defendant intended to conduct that activity secretly or to hide that activity, the other person was nude or partially nude during such photographing, videotaping, or surveying, the other person was in a place or under circumstance in which he or she would have a reasonable expectations of privacy, the other person did not have the knowledge of or give his or her consent to the photographing, videotaping or video surveying, then the defendant and Poe could face a $5,000 fine, two and a half years of imprisonment in a house of correction or both. Keynote, unlike what most people mention in their videos, he wouldn't go to prison or jail unless one person in the Diddy party was a minor. But anyway, I'm gonna go back to this whole law gibberish later on. The only thing that I found really weird is that he's trying to push his whole narrative of like uh, uh, furries are freak ass nigga here 69 god like uh, my favorite hobbit says which might be real I don't know but you're doing the same shit An example you go to an NSFW stand talk sweet that they don't verify the age and whatnot buy some weird gay sex manga, again, I don't judge if you swing that way, yet you put some little business card around the con saying like I wanna fuck with your infos on it, where kids could get the card and join type shit, like gang, push but push equal. 
So of course after this whole ordeal, he got some smoke on his social medias, even after removing the part of the video where he recorded the lady party. Many people were attacking him, one person being vocal against him was uh, Weast. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. I'm not yeah, gonna yeah. say anything against him, because he is respectful, elegant, thriving, amazing, radiant, delightful, enlightened, and dazzling community. May or may not hop on my dick in it raw with the honey pack if I said I did fell off more than way and being here. Anyway, he commented, You were the weirdest person in every room you walked into, by the way. Which is, well, I mean, was being waste, I guess. But behind this arrogant ass comment, in a way, there's some part of right. Of course, there are other comments made by smarter people, for example, a person saying, Friendly reminder that if furries can afford a $4,000 costume and $200 hearts on a regular, they can afford a lawyer. In the other side, there were some people saying like, who gives a I'm fuck, sorry, sir, since they are in costumes, no which I totally agree if it wasn't for the without consent thing. For example, Turkton, oh, who pretty much summed up this whole situation that way, saying, If you think this is normal, I don't know, man, you're a lost cause. It's absolutely not normal. I mean, obviously. I mean, they are, they're furries, they are weird. It is weird to be a furry. Like, they may be comfortable with themselves, but, I mean, they're, they're still like a furry. Which, I don't want to throw shades, but it's retarded. You play fetch with a chick that pretends to be a dog, but you talk sweet about some motherfuckers cosplaying? With that being said, are furries were those? I mean, if you say so. Just like Weeds, Marvel fans, Metalheads, and all this goes on. Though, the people saying that they are all degens reminds me of the people saying that like, all cops are bastards, all men are rapists, all YouTubers are pedos. Like, you paint huffing cracker. Yo. <laughs> So finally, what do I think about this whole situation? Well, if Anto would do like the other dude in the DD party and ask for permission to film, none of this bullshit would have happened. Maybe like two or three bumass would complain, but who the fuck cares? With that being said, Anto won't be fine or he won't go to a house of correction. I ain't no Jayoma, but from my understanding, due to the people involved being mad and the sexual yeah. part being censored, the case would be dismissed if there were to be a lawsuit in the first place. Since the people involved are considered anonymous, the plaintiff would fail to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that it goes against his privacy. Now, some people go a mile further saying that the suit can be tracked to the owner, but that's way too far-fetched. No one would realistically care enough to do that. With that being said, what Anpo did was, I mean, just weird. I mean, you went out of your way to go to two gay free orgies in cause of your dignity, technically you committed a crime, uh, you got treated on by the internet, to quote unquote, see if a free party is real. Which, we all knew it was real. Matter of fact, matter of fact, this whole video was just a poor excuse of you wanting to attend two gay for your G's and now the old internet and even your damn mama knows that you raw dog a grown ass man's leg. You freaky deaky nigger. So that was it for the end post situation. Make sure to like, subscribe and all that. Uh, or else you like to lick the honey pack on my gay for his dick. And uh...